The whole thing was announced and everything and it got underway and then Barry got a phone call from Mrs Hartnell and said, Bill seems to think he's going to be in a Doctor Who, is that right? And I said, well, yes, we haven't done anything by contracts and things yet because we don't know exactly what his involvement will be until we get all the scripts in, but uh, yes, I did ask him. She said, he, qu he couldn't do it. And she said, you must have got him on one of his good days, you know, when he was feeling bright and cheerful. But she said there was really no way that he could, you know, support the strain of doing an entire show. Um, so, you know, immediate sort of crisis meetings and things, you see. Now, we were stuck with the three doctors by this time. It had gone out in the publicity and all the rest of it. So, uh, Terence sat down and, uh, with the permission of the Bristol Boys, rewrote it. There probably wasn't any footage that would, would fit in easily, you know, because Billy Blessing was all in black and white. So, um, I said to Barry, can we have a little of him? You know, is there any, could he do a minimal appearance, as it were, just show his face so that we can call it the three doctors? I'd uh, established that uh, it would be okay with his wife if he sat in a, a chair and just read his lines off a, a, a board. They took him to Ealing, I think, um, and they sent a car for him, took him there in a the car, sat him down in a chair against black, you know, costume and makeup sat him down in a chair against black drapes, and then all his lines, of which there were only, you know, a dozen or so, were written on prompt cook things, and somebody would hold them up and he just had to read the line. And uh, he did it, and he did it perfectly well, and it works very well. Ah, there you are. I seem to be stuck up here. Shh. 